Hi guys, it's a cold, snowy morning here in Germany. And uh, yeah, I've not long since got up, so chin chin. But um, yeah, I've got an unboxing video. Even though I've already opened the box because I wanted to check that there wasn't any spillages or anything like that. Um, and um, yeah, as you've seen, there's no introduction uh, to this video and I won't be editing and you will probably see why I do heavily edit some of my reviews. But yeah, I've got a box in post, but before I do, um, a little bit of a sneak peek at an upcoming review. And I won't go too much into detail because I'll save it for the review. But yeah, I picked this up last night because Beretta were doing a tasting event for the beer. I uh, got talking again once again to the guys at Beretta. Really great guys. We were talking about all sorts of things, about like these American breweries being taken over by the the big conglob conglomerates. I don't know if that's a proper word. Um, <laughs> and the catch just made a weird noise. And uh, yeah, we're just talking about all sorts of things, like how craft beer is going to progress. And of course, I was talking to the head brewer of Spital, and uh, again, some more exciting um, prospects for the brewery himself, his home brew, all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to go too much into detail because I want to save that for when I do this review. So um, yeah, very excited to show you but guys that beer because spoiler alert i bloody loved it so anyway i got a box in the post it's a heavy bastard got sent nine beers from the rana brewery uh before i start a big thank you to both aloe and stephanie from the brewery I uh, got talking to Aloe on the night of the tasting, where I tried the Pale Mertzen, another fantastic beer. And then once I took a beer home, did a proper review of it, um, and then I like to always send reviews to the breweries, um, especially if it's more of the specialty stuff. Um, and struck up a conversation with uh, Stephanie, and uh, yeah... I like, I sometimes try and ask for sample beers, I'm not going to lie, um, I like to develop these relationships and when, you know, there's a brew that I really like, I really like to try as much of their stuff and do videos on it. I mean, I've still got uh, one or two Rana reviews already done that need to be uploaded, but um, yeah, we got talking and now we fast forward to today and I've been sent nine beers. So I will quickly read you the note. Uh, Dear Peter, please find and please find enclosed following Rana beer specialities. I'm not going to tell you what they are until I show you them. The oak aged bock is not filled yet. As soon as it as soon as it is available, we will send you examples. So um, yeah, very excited for that one. Uh, let me just quickly read what it says. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, just a little bit of information about the brewery. Uh, the Rana Broy is one of the oldest breweries in the world, existing since 1283. The family of my husband, Aloe, owns a brewery since July 1776. That's why the Bock is called 1776 Rana Oak Aged Bock. So far, we are the oldest family brewery in eastern Bavaria, actually the second oldest in the world. Only Zulta Brewery in Rettenberg, Bavaria is older. Lil I'm not going to tell you because it's Italian which beers won awards and uh, yeah some history about some of the beers in there we hope it will be a pleasure for you reviewing our beers if you have some questions or need further information please do not hesitate to contact us with best regards from Ron, Aloe and Stephanie so uh, a big 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 thank you and uh, yeah I will definitely be holding you to that offer of going for a uh, brewery tour because I could catch some really fantastic footage there i'm sure so uh, yeah before i start uh check out uh rana uh the rana brewery uh we'll be putting those inside of it apologies if i'm all over the place like i said i've only just really got up and uh, yeah this just read that what it says on the t-shirt uh there's a completely different story for that t-shirt which i'm not going to go into because i'm i'm talking bollocks right now uh but yeah big 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 thank you to Stephanie and Aloe for giving me this this opportunity to try some what I'm hoping will be some really exciting beers. So let's get on with it. So nine beers. Um, I think there are going to be two of 
some other beers. Um, like I said, I only had a quick look just to make sure that none of them had broken in transit. Uh, but they're packed really nicely anyway. So, first beer is the Lilybok, which is a Weissbock, from what I remember. Um, I did actually try this at the Rana tasting event, and even though, like I've said a few times before on uh, the Clueless Drinker, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of vice beers. It's not a style I gravitate to, mainly because if I drink too much of it, it messes my stomach up. Something rotten, and rotten is the key word there. Um, that's a bit too much information, but oh well. Um, but every now and then, when a nice one comes on, it's always nice to have one or two. Uh, but if I was to like have a session on them, uh, my system cannot handle uh, the um, the genetic makeup of a vice beer. So uh, let me see. Does this go back to do do do? Uh, the Lilybok won the Beer Cup Bronze Award in 2012, so that's good, and uh, Lily is the name of one of their children, because uh, Max and, well, as it said in the, Max? Why did I say Max? It's videos, it's going really wrong right now, um, I'm all over the place, but yeah, that's uh, the daughter of Stephanie and Ali. So, the next beer is another bottle of Lily Bock. So, I'm going to enjoy doing you know, a proper review of that so I can really get to know the beer. Uh, the next beer they sent is the tradition or traditional vice beer, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I'm always open. Even though I've said I'm not the biggest fan of vice beers, I'm always open to try them. And, uh, I mean, I've done quite a few reviews from Schneider Weisser, which I've still yet to upload. And so if you, if the Weisser beer is done nicely, it is a really nice beer style. So, again, looking forward to trying that one, see what their take on one is. And again, they sent me another one of those, so I can do a much more well-informed review of that beer. Uh, the next beer is the Schwarzer Pandur which I am guessing is a Schwarzbier, or like a Dunkel. Um, I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, Dunkel Weizen. So it's a dark vice beer. And uh, yeah, I like it when vice beers have something a little bit different to them than like what you can buy from like Francis Karma or Erdinger. I like it when there's something a little bit different. So. A dark one could be really nice, roasty, toasty, that sort of thing. And uh, let's see, the Schwarze Pandor won the European Beer Star Silver Award for 2015. So it is somewhat highly regarded. So again, really excited to check that one out. Uh, the next beer is a Maxi Bock, which I think I tried this as well at the uh, tasting event. This one's clocking in at 6.5%. Um, I think it's pretty much a Doppelbock going off that strength. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, but of course, when I get around to reviewing it, I will have much more information about that one. Excited to try that one. I do love a good Bock. Uh, of course, another bottle of the Doppel of the Maxi Bock, so I can enjoy one, get to know it, and then when it comes to the review, I should have a good amount of information to give. Uh, the next beer is a, another bottle of the Schwarzer Pandor. So uh, again, looking forward to trying that one, given, getting to know the beer. And then the final beer that they've sent me is the Winter Beer. Now, I am a fan of Winter Beers, Fest Beers, Mertzens, that sort of thing, so I'm guessing that's what this one would be. Um, I'm not too sure, because they could sometimes uh, change a little bit from beer to beer. But um, yeah, I've got a whole series of winter beer reviews and winter fest beers, basically seasonal winter German beer uh, reviews that I'm going to be uploading throughout December. So uh, yeah, this will happily go with those. So, not too shabby, eh? That's nine beers. Um, and what is that? How many reviews out of the three or four reviews as well? So um, yeah. 
really excited to try these beers. Every beer, and I'm not, you know, lying here, I'm not massaging any egos. Every beer that I've tried from Rana, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, and yeah, very excited to check all these beers out. Very excited to review the um, the Oak Aged Bock when that gets released because that was an exceptional beer as well. But uh, yeah, very, very happy with these beers. Um, very humbled. Again, Stephanie Alloy, thank you so much. I hope this unboxing video uh, has done some justice for you sending me you know, that much beer for me to review and sample. And like I said, I will hold you to the brewery invite. Because I'd love to get some footage and just show the world Rana, even though the world is rather small for me because I've got a little audience. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching this beer review. Um, if you want to check out my other Rana review, because I've only got one up as of now, uh, the Pale Mertzen exceptional beer i'll put that link down below i'll put the link down below to uh the all the rana's links that i can find and um yeah thank you guys for watching and look forward to those beer reviews i know i definitely am see you guys later